I think overall as a whole, the running back room doing a good job. Miles is a guy we lean on. He's doing a great job of, of uh, stepping up, trying to be a leader, uh, coming in, watching film. You know, he's he'll call at night, hey, coach, I could have did this, which is important because that's what you want to see with an older kid who got who got growth potential. You want him to keep growing and maxing out because, like I tell him, you don't just get better by going through a practice rep. you got to learn from it, see what you're doing right, see what you're doing wrong. And I think he's doing a great job of that, taking it off the field when he got free time because you can't just play the game. You, to get better, you got to study and see what you're doing right and wrong and also study your opponents. And so it's encouraging to see him taking that aspect of the game because that shows me this kid is really developing, trying to be that back that we want him to be. I put Mark Allen right there too. JT's doing a great job, you know, bringing on Journey Brown. But the older guys are playing like older guys. You know, we're taking pride and working on little things like technique, footwork, and all that stuff. So they take into coaching, which is important. You know, gravitating to me, you know, new coach coming in and been fun seeing those guys buy in. The thing I like about the group, and I think it's embedded in the program, is they don't complain. They work. You know, it can be heavy. It doesn't matter. They're going to still try, and they're going to try to out-compete each other. You know, it's neat. I've been around since Saquon been back, and the first thing he talked about, anybody break my record. So it's a mindset here with these guys. And, and like I told him, I said, you don't show me you're strong. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be really good at picking up blitz pickup and should be able to get that first down in short yard situations.